Transworld Sport recently paid a visit to Slovenia's oldest golf course. It was built in 1937 under the wishes of the Prince of Yugoslavia, Regent Paul, to support the flourishing popularity of Bled, a frequent holiday destination for the royal family. At the time, the King's course was revered as one of the most beautiful in Europe, complemented by the dramatic backdrop of the area's mountain ranges. The owner of the course today is Gordana Šolak. Our golf course is situated near Lake Bled, which is a great location for exploring the nature. A lot of sports can be done here and um, it was well known in the last century as well as a special retreat for the royal families and their friends. In 2014, with new owners, the task of restoring the course to its former glory began. We updated the golf course completely. We renew greens, bunkers and tees. And now we have uh, the classical layout with beautiful surroundings, outstanding views. We are trying to do everything perfect as much as it possible. That's our goal. With the course located in dramatic surroundings, overlooked by the highest point in the Slovenian Alps, the owners were keen to restore the course to the glory of old, having been rather neglected since being redeveloped in the 70s by renowned architect Donald Haradine. So a massive restoration project was undertaken to bring the course into the 21st century. It reopened this year, welcoming European tour players from past and present to play around. Former BMW Masters champion and Dunhill Championship winner Marcel Zim. Such a clever golf course, the design of the greens is, is very clever and um, you have so many different pin positions you can have, you can trick it up, you can make it easy for the, for the amateurs and uh, there were uh, some, uh, some tricky pin positions today. When this one, for example, if you come in there with a 7-iron, you can't stop it. So you have to attack your first shots to have a have backspin with your wedge. Um, so you really have to think your way around this golf course now, and uh, it's, it's very, very special. Visitors to the grand opening were also invited to look inside the luxurious clubhouse. Throughout the redevelopment, the club has been working with IMG Golf to ensure that the quality of the experience on and off the course matches the unparalleled surroundings. Russell Hanna is Director of Operations for IMG Golf and Simon Connaughton is the head greenkeeper here. The King's Course has been here since 1937 originally. I've been here since the season of 2014 when the golf course was in its original state. It was in need of a lot of work. It had a very tired look to us. I think the golf course needs to progress to fit in with the game of golf in today's world. There's a number of holes that have changed significantly. Number 10, which is now the new island hole, before it was actually, I would say, a very mundane hole. It had nothing really, no spark to it, and now it's become one of the feature holes in the golf course. The 14th and 16th have gone through a huge renovation. Previously, before, there was a forest in between the two holes. We've put a huge renovation project into a small, time scale. We're driven on the fact that we want to become to a tournament standard and hopefully hold some major tournaments here in the future. From the moment we met the owners you could feel their passion and their commitment to restore not only the golf course but also to create one of the, the finest club experiences. The work done in the course by the architect Howard Swan and his team has been superb, breathing new life into the, the course but also being very careful to respect the original design and, and charm of the, of the golf course. The new golf academy and, and driving range have also been a great addition and now offer the ultimate practice and, and learning facility. The two performance studios um, have the latest trackman analysis as well as extensive club fitting. The club's world-class facilities now complement its impressive views, providing a great destination for Europe's golfers. So I actually started playing golf on this course when I was six years old. Um, actually on this range I took my first swings. So um, I've been a member ever since. And then when the, the new owner bought it, about three years ago I actually became an ambassador for the Royal Blade. Um, especially with the redesign being done right now, 
Um, I think it's definitely the best course in Slovenia and definitely one of the best courses in the area in general. Personally, it means the world to have facilities like this right here at home. The golf course was like a sleeping beauty that was neglected for a lot of years and we wanted to wake it up and present it to the whole world like a jewel and a great addition to European golf. The club's heritage has been considered at every stage of the renovation. The 1938 clubhouse has been carefully redeveloped rather than being rebuilt. The building is under the historical protection, so we needed to keep it really the same as it was. We actually give it the glory and really how it was when it was built. We have uh, 10 beautiful rooms, outstanding dining, and definitely Slovenian wines must be on your menu. The renovations have certainly brought this club well and truly into the modern day. I think that uh, Slovenia deserves attention. It's a small jewel uh, in the middle of the Europe and uh, everybody should try the golf course and whoever been here, they're always coming back, so welcome. The King's Course in Bled provides the perfect challenge to golfers of all abilities. Visitors regularly have to use every club in their bags to plot a way round. Slovenia's hidden beauty begins its journey into modernity while staying true to its royal roots. <laughs>